we are going to see how to surrender or cancel your Tata AIA life insurance policy. We are also going to see what is a free look period, what is miscelling, will you get your whole money back refunded or some amount will be deducted if you cancel the policy and what is the difference between surrendering or cancelling a policy. And also, should you actually surrender this policy or instead continue with this policy? We will see all of these things in detail later in the video. Hi, welcome to holisticinvestment.in. We help individual investors like you to take the right financial and investment decisions. Now we will look at some of the reasons for which why people cancel their policies. Number one, the premiums are too high. Probably when you bought the policy, the premium might have been affordable for you. But now because of a financial situation you have or for another personal reasons you have, the premium might have become unaffordable or expensive for you right now. For what, Also why you might want to cancel this policy. Number two, after purchasing, you might feel that this policy is not that beneficial compared to how you felt before purchasing the policy because it might not have turned out as much as you expected it to be. Number three, you might have bought this policy on the advice of a close friend or a relative instead of your own initiative for why you might also want to cancel this policy. Number four, you might have a better policy in your mind now, which might be offering better returns than this policy comparably, which is, might also be a reason for why you want to cancel this policy. Number five, which is the main reason because most of the people who buy this policy might have bought the policy without understanding the plan in detail and now they want to cancel their policies. So let's assume you have bought the policy and now you want to cancel this policy for whatever reason you have. Let us look at how to cancel this policy. The one thing you can do is by canceling it through a free, free look period. Free look period is nothing but a period which can also be called as a grace period or a cool off period for example if you have bought the policy and it has not even passed like 15 days from the date you have purchased the policy within that period and you do not like the terms and conditions of the policy then you can cancel this policy with minimal charges for example if you have bought this policy through telemarketing or online then the free look period is extended up to 30 days now we will look at what are the documents and what is the procedure to cancel the policy under the free look period. First, you need to fill up the cancellation form, which will which you can download it directly from their website. We have also given the link in the description for your easy access, and you can visit any of the nearest branches with your policy document and the first receipt you bought, uh, you paid for your premium and the cancel check to cancel your policy. Let us see how much money will be actually refunded. Will you get the whole money refunded if you cancel it during the free look period? No, not really. Because certain charges will be directed, such as st your stamp duty charges, 50% of the medical test cost, and a proportionate premium for your coverage duration. These charges will be directed and the only the balanced premium will, will only be refunded to you. Let us see if you have been missold a policy. What is mis-selling? It's basically nothing but if a relationship manager or an insurance agent sells your policy based on false claims like hiding the faults of the policy and only highlighting the good parts of the policy or telling your return is much better than what is actually given in the policy document. Selling your policy based on false claims and misinformation like this is called mis-selling. You should always be aware enough not to fall for these cheap marketing tactics because insurance agents and relationship managers do this to get their own incentives and commission. You can not fall for these tactics by always thoroughly reading the policy documents before deciding to purchase any policy. But let us assume you have been missold a policy. Then what do you think you can do? Let me tell you. If you have a missold a policy, you can directly approach the Tata AA Life Insurance Company's redressal officers and tell your issue which they, for which they will give you a solution. But if you are not satisfied with the solution they have given for you, then you can directly approach the IRDA. To understand more about the IRDA process, the, the details are already given in your policy document. But if you want more information relating to them, 
then you can uh, go to this website called irdaindia.osh.in and raise your complaint to them for which they will deal with it. Now, let us see what do you mean by surrendering a policy? Like, let's uh, assume that you have not been missold a policy and also the free look period to cancel your policy is already over but you still want to cancel your policy. What can you do in that instance is you can surrender your policy because canceling your policy after the free look period and before its maturity period is called surrendering the policy. But you can only surrender your policy after the end of your lock-in period, which is usually three years in a Tata AIA life insurance policy. By surrendering your policy, your policy value will be paid to you as per their policy terms. This is called surrender value. However, the insurance company will actually deduct some kind of amount as penalty charges and only mostly how they will refund it is usually only 30% of the guaranteed surrender value is paid back to the policy holder. If he or she surrenders the plan after the completion of the lock-in period, which is three years. Now let us see the process involved in surrendering your policy. Like what documents are required for policy surrender? First, you need your surrender form which you can directly download it from their website for which we have given the link in your description. Second, you need the cancel check with your policy holder's name on it. Third, original policy document. Fourth, latest contact details. Fifth, ID proof such as your PAN card, Aadhaar card, passport, driving license and voter's ID. You can produce these documents and start your surrender process immediately. Now let us see if you should actually surrender your policy and what benefits you can gain by surrendering your policy. Number one, by canceling your policy, you can avoid further damage to the time value of your money. Like what do I, what do I mean by damage to the time value of money is, for example, investing in an insurance policy is a long-term investment. For example, your policy term might be extended to minimum for 15 to 20 years. The purchase value of your policy will not be the same as much as it is now, like after 15 to 20 years, because your money value will get decreased and the inflation will have gotten increased. Because after 15 to 20 years, you cannot expect more than a 4 to 6% return on your investment in such policies in the long term. From a long term perspective, 4 to 6% is not an inflation beating return. And if you have took ULIP policies, there might be hidden charges which will bring down your overall return, which might be less than 4 to 6% return. So by not investing in such policies and surrendering this policy, you might actually save your time value of your money. And also, by not investing and surrendering this policy, you might not miss out, miss out on better insurance and investment options like mutual funds and PPF, which will give you better returns in the long term. Now, let us see what are the four important points to remember whenever you try to invest in an insurance or investment product. Number one, first you need to understand the purpose for why you take a life insurance policy. Life insurance policy's purpose is to mitigate any financial uncertainty for your family in case of your uneventual death, unfortunately. So if you remember this purpose, you can easily take a pure term insurance policy for this, which you can pay at a lower premium for a higher life coverage. Always look at this policy, which gives you a higher client settlement ratio. And also, whenever you plan to invest in something, always invest after considering the factors like how much corpus you actually require. And what is the time horizon in which you want to achieve your financial goals? And what is your risk appetite? Only after considering and thoroughly evaluating these factors, try to invest in a product. And most importantly, be it your insurance or your investments, keep it separate and only invest in it after you completely understand what you're investing in and by understanding the product. I hope you like this video and it's beneficial for you. If you want more such videos, share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any doubts which you want to get clarified, you can always book, uh, book for a free complimentary consultation with us, one of our certified financial planners. Also, if you want to gain more knowledge regarding personal finance and investment, 
you can register for a one of a live webinar which will be hosting soon until the next video thank you